I'll go to Senator Rennick. Uh, I, uh, my question is for uh, Minister Wong, uh, and I'd like to raise the issue of the Lippington Triangle audit. Uh, as you know, uh, the Auditor General ended up with egg on his face for claiming that the land was worth $3 million when it was worth $30 million. Um, now, I've asked the Auditor General previously in estimates for copies of the work papers in regards to that uh, audit, and you remember that well because you spent two hours interrogating the Infrastructure Department and are at one morning. I think you, 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 th you probably think my memory is better than it actually is, Senator Rennick, but <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Um, my concern is, is that the Auditor-General won't release the work papers um, from that uh, audit, and given that he was so far out and failed to apply the proper accounting, accounting standards, I'd like to know what the Prime Minister will do about that in the name of transparency, <clears throat> number one. And number two is I'd like to know whether or not the Prime Minister has ever had a relationship with the Auditor General, given that they were both Labor staffers going back to the late 80s. Um, Senator Rennick. The first is that the Auditor General uh, is appearing, I think, at 3.50. Well, it will be a bit later because we've got the I, office. I accept that. But Just I, if I, I can, yeah. please. Um, so obviously you can put these questions directly to the Auditor General. Um, uh, I, um, you know, you've made a number of assertions. Um, uh, I, had, I didn't know if, if I don't know if they're true about the Auditor General's history. I well, he's an ex-Labor staff from oh, the well, late I 80s. Didn't, I don't know that. Yep. Well, he is. I, well, he is. well, that's not until you said that. That was something. Yeah. There was never something that I have be, have been aware of. My, my understanding he is. is that he Stuart is, West. and it's unfortunate that you are making the imputation that you are. Uh, it's an independent statutory office. He was appointed by your yeah, government. Yeah, I accept that. Yeah. Uh, so, if there is some imputation about his um, professionalism, um, I. I I'd, I'd ask you to consider carefully whether that's an appropriate assertion. Well, well it is, um, because I'll, I'll quote double ASB 13, well, the well, standard uh, for fair it, value, paragraph 27 and 29 says you value land at best use. Okay. And he didn't do that in the audit, and that became a big political uh, issue, of which you spent two hours prosecuting in ARAT. Okay, so I, I'm just holding you to the same standards that you tried to hold the Morrison government to. Well, I, I, my recollection was I went to ARAT, this is a couple of years ago now? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I've asked a lot of questions over, <laughs> over yeah, the no, years, I accept yeah, no, um, yeah. and, and asked questions about um, a purchase, which I think, from memory, the secretary himself was agreed there were concerns about. Um, uh, you're now talking about the auditor, the the auditor general's report. Yeah, um, I, I have issues around the, the professional. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Well, well standards, if uh, I'm not in a position to have an argument with you about an accounting standard, but I'm sure uh, you know that's something you could put to the audit office. Oh, I have. Right. But what's my issue so what's now my is, what's the question? Well, my to issue me? is is that he won't release the work papers around that audit, and I want to oh. know why he got the zoning wrong and why he valued well, it wrong. He's an independent. I think yeah, he's an independent officer. Well, he's an independent statutory officer, and. You know, he, uh, whoever holds that office makes the judgments they make about what de about their work, and about you know what they what what is included or not included in public reports. It's not a political question. Okay. Well, well how can the Australian people have confidence in the impartiality, impartiality of of the Auditor General when he's clearly got something wrong by by a factor of ninety percent, right? He fails to disclose work papers. Okay, in my view that they're an independent statutory body, that means they're, who, who are they accountable to? My understanding of is that these guys are ultimately reportable, reportable to the Prime Minister's office, and in the name of transparency... Did you just assert them that they were... They, that the, they well, were, they're appointed well, no, no, by... No, yeah. They're appointed by the government of the day, which yeah. was your government. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secondly, they are accountable to the parliament. Right, okay. Right, well, and there is, from memory, is there not a committee that Joint deals... Committee. Joint, uh, a joint committee that that is has oversight or to whom the auditor general sure with whom the auditor general engages but i think committee. you made an assertion that it's yeah. appointed by the prime minister's office you ought to withdraw that that's not yeah correct. i'll withdraw it yeah Thank I, you. I meant as in that's something that the prime minister's office and it was our office but going forward it's something that needs to be raised yeah you know, i'm concerned about yeah 
Public yeah. accounts and order. Thank you, Senator yeah. Burke. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the problem is I, I have difficulty getting committees up because we don't have the numbers. Okay, so this is the only means I've got to try and hold the Auditor General to account, right? Sure. So I could try and move a motion to get it an inquiry into this, but I doubt that you would vote for it. Se you didn't vote for <laughs> that. Senator, well, Senator yeah. Rennick, so, um, Senator I, 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 you have a right as an elected senator to come to these estimates and ask questions, yep. uh, just as I have, you know, sure. as the minister, uh, I can respond. Uh, you have a right to come and ask the Auditor General about the issues which you raise. Um, uh, I don't, um, you know, I just make the point. These are um, independent statutory office, reports to the parliament, um, Auditor Generals, uh, you know, have set, reports have been at times difficult for governments of both political persuasions. Yep. Uh, I've had to deal with difficult Auditor General reports. Uh, I'm sure Senator Birmingham had to. So, mm. you know, sometimes, um, but, but that's the, the role in the, in the polity that this office plays. Okay. Okay, so if you don't agree with the work he's done, well, I think you are entitled to put that to him. I assume you've done that in previous estimates. Yeah, and he rejects it, no, and I well, disagree. Well, he obviously doesn't agree. And with he doesn't want to disclose the work papers, and, and I don't think that's right in the interests of the public disclosure. So, if <laughs> I was to move a motion to have an inquiry into this, would the Labor Party support an inquiry into the role of the Auditor General and, and, and the Olympic Committee? Well, well, you've well, got he, government well, that's on. On. You're asking me it, on. whether you, or not you yes, yes, we don't have the numbers. Mate, well, hang on. I, I don't think you get other. your colleagues to support you. Yeah. Unless Senator Birmingham is going to tell you that. Would I agree with a, an inquiry into an independent statutory body, an officer, who already is subject to oversight by the Parliament because you disagree with him? Probably not, Senator. Well, it's because he won't disclose the work papers. Well, I mean, it became a big it, political it, issue think, of the day. Sure. Uh, well, it was a political issue, but I, I, what you're saying is should the executive direct a statutory officer as to what they should provide to the Senate, a bit difficult. Mm. Okay, no, that's actually Senator, not what I'm saying. What I'm saying sorry, is I think... No, but I so, so, sorry, sorry so slightly, Senator Rennick, I no, thought... No, I'm not trying to have a go at you, Penny. I'm no, 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 no. And yeah. look, it's a, yeah. But I thought that's what, what you are saying. You're saying, can you direct him or can you make sure he gives us his working papers? I'm sorry, I thought that was the phrase. Well, OK, was... I, I want to be... I want the Parliament mm. to support that the Auditor General releases those working papers Okay, and, and we the, the coalition doesn't have the numbers by themselves to get up an inquiry into this, right? So I can have my colleagues support me, but it, like they supported me yesterday. The oversight committee. Um, um, I need to give the call back to Senator Birmingham briefly before we break for afternoon tea in okay, just fine. a moment. Yep. Oh, well, I'm, I'm happy for you to come and ask questions when he appears. Yeah, and, um, and they won't disclose work papers. Well, so I, we don't have it might be useful for him let's, to explain let's why. Just, yeah. Let's just. Authorised G. Rennick, LMP Chermside.